Hi everyone, this is Kieran from Learn Bubble. I wanted to just show you a really cool tip that I just discovered from this guy, James Devonport. So if you don't know him, he writes a cool um, newsletter about building a SaaS with Bubble, uh, and it's really good. It's full of interesting tips, and I got a really good tip from his latest one, which was um, don't build a Bubble app with tons of pages, build it as a one-page app. Um, so at first I was skeptical because I was like, how that sounds like unmanageable and like sounds like it's going to be horrible. But I've actually taken Community Copilot, which is uh, my current project that I'm working on, a uh, SaaS tool for community managers. And I spent the last couple of days converting it from a multi-page app into a single page app. And I just wanted to show you the, the difference it makes. Okay, so uh, this is the current live version, which is still the old multi-page app. So on the left, I've got my menu here. If I click on a different page, it's fairly quick. Um, and obviously stuff has to load on each page, but there's definitely a lag um, there, which, you know, it's not too bad, but it, it could get annoying. So if I click on a member, you know, and honestly, I'd say this is actually probably one of the, the, the snappiest it's been for a while. But so if I wanted to click around, I got to wait to get to each page. Whereas, okay, so this is on the dev server, so uh, version test, so it hasn't been pushed live yet, and actually when things go live, they are quicker, but look at the difference here, okay. I mean, it's almost immediate, the speed at which you can click around is, is so much more snappy, and if you're thinking okay everything's preloaded like if I so if I reload the site here so yeah everything that takes a little while to load up at the beginning um, pretty much exactly the same as if I load up the live site so yeah like some this stuff is pulling for an API so it takes longer for sure uh, and the first time you click on a new page yes it does have to load things so that takes the same time still not bad at all so this like has to load and these repeating groups load but once you've done it every, everything is just there so like on the live site if I click back to dashboard um, from another page it has to load all this stuff again see it's now loading the members list so this is actually this is actually more common. In fact, it's not even loading at all. But if I go back to the dashboard now, that's decided to die. Well, there you go. So um, definitely huge improvement with uh, having it as a single page app. So how did I make the changes? So here is the app in the editor. You can see here I've got all the all the different pages here. Um, what I had to do was I would take, I would go to like a page, like say my members page. I would take this page, I put everything into one big group, everything that I needed on the page. And then I did right click and I said, uh, convert into a reusable element. And then you do that and it asks you to give it a name. So I gave it a name as tab dash, whatever the thing is. So I've got tab members. And then tab members is everything you saw there. And then I've got an extra bit on the right where I put in the sidebar as well. Uh, but it's just an exact copy of the actual members page, but it is now in this reusable element called tab members. And the, so when I made it a reusable element, it obviously it copied over all the workflows, but the stuff it didn't copy over were things like the custom states, which I had on the members page. So I just had to go in and I had to add all those in, which took a while. But if I gave them the same name, like when you copy over, you end up with like a ton of errors here uh, in the error checker and they can be look quite daunting. But if you create all your custom states with exactly the same names that you had before on the main page, then you can actually just bang through all of those errors really quickly. Uh, and, it, and it will just be a case of it can't find the custom state with the right name. And then the other thing that I had to copy over were any pop-ups that were on the original page don't get carried over. So I had to um, recreate those or add them back onto this page. Uh, but apart from that, 
so I, I repeated that process for every page that I wanted to be um, part of the single page app and then so the main page now is index and on the index page you can see nothing because everything is hidden by default uh, but it's all there so like if I just show you yeah, everything is there uh, it's all hidden and if I just click on say I'll look at the members group so this as you can see is a reusable element I click on it um, and it's got a condition on it that says when get tab from page URL is members then it's visible so to make the changes to the page I just have a new parameter on the page uh, which is so it's like it won't have version test there but it's question mark tab equals home and that is for the home page so that will show what I've called tab main and then if I click on members it just changes it to question mark tab equals members and if I click on an individual member it says question mark tab equals member so that just causes the groups the reusable elements on this page to show and hide based on what I have in the URL and so the way the menu actually works if I go to that um, sidebar so for example if I click on this group here members uh, so first it does actually I found out that I can delete that that doesn't actually work for me but but basically you need to have it so that if someone has scrolled down the page like this and they click on another page that it automatically scrolls back up to the top because otherwise you'll kind of be stuck they'll be stuck halfway down the page and if it's blank like this then they might not know what's going on um, so I found it didn't actually work to have it here so I actually have it on the individual tab tab them so I'll just show you that just so you so when the page is loaded it scrolls to text members and I've got that on every page it just scrolls up to the title so this is text members so it scrolls up to the title and then I put in a little offset so that's the way it loads but then if I go back to the sidebar uh, just so you can see all it does is go to page index send more parameters to the page and put tab equals members so although it's saying go to page it's not it doesn't reload the page because it's already on that page so it just says go to tab equals members and likewise if you click on posts uh, it just says go to page index where tab equals posts and I've also got another parameter there uh, because I've got two other options on the post page uh, and yeah so that's how it works and then everything else like uh, the fact that you know when you click on members it's pink here um, that's just a conditional that says get tab from the page URL if it's members then turn the font pink and so I use this exact condition here to show and hide the the main group on the page and to do all the different um, the different colors on the menu and yeah it's, it's really good uh, doesn't seem to slow down performance at all obviously everything takes a little while to load at the start but I just think it's when it's this snappy to get between things uh, it's just such an improvement in user experience so I hope that's useful to you uh, I definitely from now on will be doing my, all my bubble apps this way um, if you are new to bubble please check out bubble crash course which is a course that I've made with my buddy Pablo uh, to teach you the basics of bubble right from being being a complete beginner up to being able to make almost anything uh, you want uh, it's got loads of like hours and hours 10 hours plus of, of video tutorials um, and yeah we've had some really good feedback about it so do check that out gumroad.com slash l slash bubble crash course thanks for watching